What's up guys? So Call Me By Your Name is the story of a young boy named Elio. I believe he's 17 years old, so he's not too young, but it surrounds him. It's the story of him, and he's living in northern Italy in 1983, I believe, and his father is like an archaeologist or something, and he has an intern come in every summer to help him and assist him in his work. And this year the intern he gets in is Army Hammer, and uh, the story goes from there. We have the young, boy, the 17-year-old boy played by Timothy Chalamet, uh, Elio, and he uh, kind of, it's, it's the story of him finding himself, and he kind of, he has to find his sexuality, you know, what is, is, he, uh, is he straight, or he kind of finds himself as, as, as bisexual, uh, and then maybe he just kind of discovers at the end of the film that he's completely, uh, you know, gay. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it wasn't kind of clear because, you know, he has this girl in the film as well. And he's having like an affair with her and him at the same time. You know, Army Hammer's character. They meet and they grow a bond and they, they start to really like each other. And the, the romance takes off, you know, and it's, it's like, you know, he's with him one day and, you know, a couple days later he's with this girl. And uh, finally he tells the girl, you know, without any spoilers, he, he pretty much... Uh, chooses a certain path, which leads me to believe that he's a certain, uh, he, he goes a certain way. But, you know, seeing this movie, I, I really, I liked it. I, I didn't love it, I liked it. I think it, it's, it's a very good movie about finding yourself and uh, accepting yourself and all this. Uh, I think the performance by the lead actor, Timothy Chalamet, he's fantastic in the movie. I think Army Hammer does a great job as well. Uh, their, uh, Timothy Chalamet's father in the movie, uh, he's also in The Shape of Water. Uh, oh man, Michael Stuhlbar, I believe that's his name, he is great in the movie too. He has like a scene towards the end of the film where there's just monologue and he pulls it off. He's great in the movie. And you know, all the performances I think are great. There's not one weak performance. The things that I just really didn't necessarily like about the movie or just didn't completely work for me is, uh, A, it's, it's a little too long. I feel like they sh could have shaved like 20 minutes off this movie. Without credits, it's like two hours and seven minutes or something like that. I feel like they could have made it like a two hour and 40, uh, one hour and 47 minute movie. It could have been a lot shorter. There's just this sequence towards the end of the film where it's, the summer's coming towards an end and, you know, Army Hammer's character and Timothy Chalamet's character they kind of go somewhere for for a few days and uh, I just feel like that that didn't need to be in the movie I, I get what they were trying to do like okay these two are off on their own now and let's let's see them uh, you know what they're gonna do uh, on their own and it's it's pretty much things that you would already expect it's just 20 minutes of pretty much them running around <laughs> Uh, dancing in the street, whatever, continuously touching each other, hugging each other, kissing each other, which I don't mind. I'm not, like, against that or anything. It's just, I feel like this movie, towards the end of it, bashed you over the head with it. And I just feel like they were already getting that point across. I already knew that they were into each other. I already knew they really liked each other. I already knew they loved each other, even. You know, but uh, I just feel like there's that bit of the movie that just didn't need to be there. And, and that leads in with my other uh, negative about the film. I just feel like they kind of beat us over the head with this romance towards the, towards the end of the film, towards the, the, the close of the movie. I just feel like they beat us over the head with it, and that leads to a longer movie, which I just didn't find myself, uh, you know, liking that much. I, I liked the film. It's just that 20-minute that chunk or whatever it is. I just feel I could have been cut. It just dragged quite a bit, for me anyway. But overall, I mean, this is a great movie. But overall, this is a good film, I think. I think the story is good. I think the performances are great. But in the end of the day, I'm going to give Call Me By Your Name four out of five stars. I liked the movie. I thought it was good. It's going to get nominated for a lot at the Oscars. It's already been getting nominated for a lot. But is it my favorite film of the year? No. And uh, it's, it's really not even going to crack my top ten because it's not a movie that I feel like I, I, I would want to watch again. I never want to see this again. If it comes up, uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch it on TV or something, I don't know, but I'm not going to go out of my way to watch this movie again. It's just, you know, uh, it was, it, it is what it is. But guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan 
on seeing this movie or did you see it already what do you think about it also you can subscribe to this channel for reviews coming in the future meaning probably tomorrow or the day after I'll be posting these reviews for The Greatest Showman and Darkest Hour uh, there's reviews for The Shape of Water and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle up on this channel now so you can check those out and uh, yeah guys you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter the links to those are in the description of this video and don't forget if you don't already know this coming Monday Christmas Day I will be posting my top 10 Blu-rays of 2017 where I may just be giving away a digital uh, copy code I'm not entirely sure on that but we will see check that video out to, to, to see uh, what's going on there. And guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Call Me By Your Name. Over and out. Call me by your name and I'll call you by mine.